Hello everybody, I'm Noob Noob Fruit, and in this video I'm going to show you every single quest, yes, you heard it right, every quest, every challenge uh, for Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1. These are going to be like literally all of them from week 1 to week 14, uh, plus the wild weeks, of course, the uh, chicken week, the amazing Spider-Man week, and the bargain bin week. Uh, I hope you guys like enjoyed, this took a while to make. I'm making this for a specific reason, uh, which is uh, like the fact that the new season drops in exactly 5 days. So yeah, you have exactly 5 days in your hand. If you're missing like a couple of levels or you're missing a couple of skins, you can use this guy to hit that sweet level 200 and get all of the battle pass skins like including the uh like the amazing not the amazing the spider-man like uh styles and super styles every, every single one of those uh this took a while to make <laughs> believe it or not I, I believe it's like what an hour and a half something like that uh i hope you guys like enjoy it please show some love please like do subscribe do like the video and leave a comment if you have a question of course uh and yeah that's basically it i hope you guys enjoy it and without further ado here are all the quests for chapter 3 season 1 of fortnite so for this quest it's just that you have to uh, discover the device and basically there's a bunch of locations for that but we're gonna go to the one right here in the middle of the map so we're just gonna ping that right there and we're gonna make our way over there because i believe there's not gonna be too many people over there and we finally got into a game so <laughs> i might as well start recording these uh, quests who knows when the servers will just blow up so here we are this is the first spot so this is one of the locations where you can find the device Ooh, is that an npc Okay. Let's grab a weapon real fast. That's a sniper. Not gonna help. So the bounty boards are back. Alright, so this is the device right here. As you can see, just enter. And this is what it looks like. Let me take a screenshot of that. Alright, beautiful. So let's grab it. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, scientist here. For this quest, you need to open 10 ammo boxes at landmarks. So basically, you just have to find these ammo boxes right here. And you just open them, just open 10. But make sure you are in landmark, not a named location. So for example, right now, I'm at the Sevens Outpost landmark. So this is a named location, this is a landmark. And uh, I'm just going to show you a map where all the landmarks are. So here's the map, as you can see. So everything in blue is a landmark. So uh, right now I was at the seven outpost number four and basically go to any of the blue like uh, of the blue like uh, I guess landmarks and you just have to open um, uh, ammo boxes just open 10 and that should complete the quest as you can see there's a lot of landmarks all around just go to any of these just walk around the map I automatically unlock this quest just by playing the game and opening like whatever ammo box that comes in on my way and uh, but, but if you're trying to do it like on purpose just go to one of these landmarks or uh, or multiple of these landmarks open 10 ammo boxes and that should complete the quest for this quest is should have to deal uh, 50 damage uh, to opponents while sliding so uh, it's very very easy to do, you just have to deal damage, but the, the difficult thing is to slide. So if you guys do not know how to slide uh, right now, it's basically all you have to do is just hold uh, control, left control. So uh, you know how you use control to crouch when you shoot? Basically you just run and you hold it and you will automatically, you will automatically slide. It has a short duration for the slide and it has a short cooldown and then you can slide again. And it's very, very easy to deal 50 damage. Just whenever you see an opponent, just look at them and aim. <laughs> and that's all you have to do. Basically, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. Nice. So basically, there's a uh, couple of glitches that you can use in order to open a two-man vault. So you don't really need another player. So for the first uh, glitch, you're going to need to go right here to Chonker's Speedway, right around this area. Because you're going to look for a chicken. And this is where chickens uh, like spawn, uh, basically. Chicken, I guess. <laughs> uh, so we're going to grab a chicken real quick. Alright, here we go. So here's the chicken right here. So I guess uh, you can mostly find them on the on these tracks right here because Epic Games thought this would be funny, I guess, to have a chicken on a racing track. And basically, once you have the chicken, make your way all the way to this like Sevens Vault. So we're gonna make our way there with the chicken. Alright, so here we are at the Sevens Vault with the freaking chicken. <laughs> so we're just gonna bring it to the um, to the vault thingy. So we're just gonna go here. I think the vault is here. Yeah, just go downstairs and you just stand in front of the scanner and you will literally count as two people with a chicken <laughs> how stupid is this huh look at this man this is so cool yeah we just opened the vault with a chicken because why not and you basically get access to all of this and all of this and all of this baby look at this look at this beauty man hmm? 
and then we just release the chicken. Also, if you uh, like, if you don't want to find a chicken or you don't like have the time to, or you're not lucky like, to find a chicken, you can do this with a uh, an NPC. So you see these NPCs on the outside, these ones right here. You just kill one of them. Oh, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the last one because somebody else already killed the second one. So you leave the, the second one alive, you kill one, and you pick them up and you do the same. You bring them, like you carry the NPC all the way to the vault, and then you stand in front of the vault, uh, like scanner thingy, right here, and it will do the same and it will open the vault for you. So yeah, these are a couple of tricks that you can do to open these vaults, because it doesn't make sense to, like, give us something to do that requires another player when most people play solo. For this quest, you need to discover named locations. So basically, all you have to do is just go land and all the named locations. You need to discover 10 of them. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 in total. All you have to do is just discover 10 of them uh, by basically landing on them. Just land on the location, on the required location. And if it's grayed out on the map, it will become like colored like this. And you would have discovered it. So just, just do this on 10 locations and that should complete the quest. For this uh, season quest, it says you have to jump through uh, flaming rings in a vehicle. So this is the first spot where you can find the flaming ring. So I'm just going to ping it on the map. This is where you can find the first flaming ring right here. And you will find this like uh, this car right here. If you don't find it, you can just grab one from the DIY. And we simply jump through the flaming ring. Huh! <laughs> nice. So that's one out of two. Only one more to go. The next flaming ring is going to be at this spot right here. So just make your way to the Chonkers Speedway and you will find a couple more right here. So this is number one right here. And oh, <laughs> so that's two out of two. Very, very easy. There's also a lot of them all around. There's one right here. There's another flaming ring right around here. So if you don't find one, there's uh, a lot of them all around the map. So just thumb, jump through them with a the vehicle and that should complete the quest. For this season quest, it says you have to land at the Daily Bugle, then finish top 25, which is pretty simple to do. So basically, you need to land right here in the middle of this like volcano thingy. So this is the Daily Bugle uh, POI. And once you land here, all you have to do is just survive until top 25. And uh, to do that, you just have to hide. <laughs> if you're good at the game, go fight. If you're not so good at the game, just, you know, play the waiting game and just hide and walk around the bushes. And you'll be able to make it to top 25 very, very easily, especially in like, uh, like uh, normal, like solo mode. All right. So as you can see, it's top 26. One more and we should be able to complete the, uh, this quest right here, which is to land a daily bugle and then finish top 25. And there it is, top 25. So uh, just to confirm that, you just have to like, <laughs> we just need to jump off a ramp just for the thing to count that as top 25. So that's what we're gonna do. And here we go, jump off. And there it is, as you can see, land at the daily bugle, then finish top 25, completed. There it is, it's gone, beautiful. So yeah, that's it, that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest. For this quest, you need to get an elimination with an SMG or a sniper. So basically you just grab a sniper and SMG and you go for the, come on, elimination, okay, that's 86, one more. So this is just a bot and I'm just showing you the quest on him. There we go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's it, just get three eliminations using either a sniper, like this one, or an SMG of course. And uh, yeah, that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest. For this quest, it says you have to damage opponents from 50 meters or more using the MK7 uh, weapon. So this is it right here. This is the MK7 assault rifle. So it has the dot zoom thingy. So you can just zoom in. And basically you need somebody to be all the way at least 50 meters like over there. And you deal damage to them. So let's uh, try to spawn somebody all the way over there. So I think this will be 50 meters. And then we grab this and you just deal 200 damage. There it is. So uh, you need to do this like uh, until you do 200 damage, basically. Uh, you can do this here or in team rubble mode, of course. But I think this is doable in uh, in solos. So you can just like uh, have your MK7 and you just hide <laughs> and you just aim at people. And of course, if you want a very, very powerful MK7, you can go to Sanctuary right here and you will find the Foundation uh, boss NPC and you can just fight them. Of course, it's a very, very tough fight, so it's not very easy to win. Uh, but basically, once you defeat the uh, the foundation, you can get the mythic uh, MK7, which deals so much more damage. And yeah, you basically beam people from 50 meters uh, distance or, or, or more, and that should complete the quest. For this quest, it says you have to catch fish as, uh, at Sleepy Sound or uh, Loot Lake. So this is uh, Sleepy Sound right here. So this is the PUI. And this is Loot Lake. It doesn't have a name, but this is like Loot Lake. So you can either, either go to the central lake right here or go to this PUI. 
and you just basically grab a uh, fishing rod so uh, this is a fishing rod right here I think there it is right there so just grab this get ourselves a fishing rod actually <laughs> let me swap this out and you basically just go for the fishing locations it doesn't really have to be a fishing spot since this should work on any like uh, any like uh, body of water and you just simply fish three times there it is so that's fish number one and uh, yeah it's pretty simple just fish three times get yourself three fish and that should complete the quest very very simple for this quest it says you have to travel 50 meters or more using a, uh, a spider-man's web shooters mythic weapons so this is where we can find the spider-man web shooters right here right now i'm in the, the daily bugle the daily bugle pui has at least five I will leave a link right here in the top right corner of all the web shooter locations in the entire map because you need to find at least one and you just basically open the pack so there we go we got the spider-man thingies we're just gonna do this and the idea is just for you to uh travel 50 meters in one swing so to do that aim high just keep clicking and make sure you travel actually let me <laughs> i screwed that up actually the tree kind of screwed me up so let's go up again all right here we go so you just get a lot of momentum and then you simply go to any spot that has a lot of like high buildings and you make sure you travel 50 meters like this there we go and 50 meters is very very short so right now i should have completed the quest but yeah this is what you need to do right here you just swing around the building and in one swing you travel 50 meters just like this and yeah <laughs> as simple as that man i love these uh, <laughs> i love these uh, mythics and yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, guys, the web shooters are practically everywhere. I find mine in the Daily Bugle. Basically, I just go to this spot right over here and I find them stuck to a wall. But like I said, uh, the link will be provided in this video and just go to any location. You'll find them, grab them and just go and swing around like Spider-Man. And that should be the quest. Very, very simple. For this quest, it says you have to buy three items from a uh, character. So basically, you just go to any NPC location. For example, this Guaco NPC, he will spawn right over here in um, in a greasy grove. So just go to this building right here, this like restaurant thingy, and you'll find Guaco. And you can simply buy the ch chili chuck splashes three times. So each one will cost 210 uh, gold bars. Right now, I don't have any gold, so <laughs> I need to farm some gold. Uh, but basically, yeah, just buy three items. It doesn't matter what the items are. You can even buy like the uh, sidearm pistol. Whatever he sells, just buy three stuff, and that should complete the quest. It's very, very simple. For this quest, it says you have to use a med mist while sliding. So this is a med mist right here. As you can see, you can just use it on yourself. So this is what it looks like. It's simply a new healing item. So let me grab that. And uh, in case you don't know, since this is a new mechanic, this is how you slide in Fortnite right here. So uh, you know the button that you use to crouch? It's the left control. You simply run and hold that button and you will slide. And the idea is for you to do, do, do that, like slide and use the med mist. So we're just going to go up top, we're going to slide, and then we're going to use this, which looks super <laughs> cinematic. <laughs> and you get the full HP. It doesn't matter how much HP you heal out of this. Uh, but make sure you are losing a little bit of HP so you can use it because as you can see right now I cannot use it again because I have full HP so make sure you take some damage like uh, jump off a ramp maybe and just take damage and then use it while sliding and yeah it's very simple just do that and that should complete the quest for this quest it says you have to survive four storm circles while carrying a weapon of uh, epic uh, variety or rarer so basically you need to have a weapon of this variety right here like it has to be either epic like this like purple or rare so it has to be like legendary or mythic so these are the colors as you can see right here so having uh this loadout right here so for example if i have this smg and this uh shotgun and i just survive a storm circle which means like surviving this entire circle right here so when this one closes down i need to be inside the uh the second circle and then i need to be inside the third circle and then finally i need to be inside the first circle so uh you need to survive four while having a uh, an epic rarity uh, weapon or higher so you need to have one of these in your inventory so for example i grab this and i just survived i survived with this uh, with this loadout and uh, it will complete the quest and of course you can have more so for example i'll have this and this especially the web the uh, spider-man web shooters they will be very very helpful if you want to like survive a lot of like uh, a lot of fights and you can escape any any like uh, any fight and if you want to find these you can just go to the daily bugle you just go to this spot right here you'll find most of the web shooters right here stuck to a wall and yeah that's basically it just survive five of these or four of these and that should complete the quest for this quest, it says you have to stash two items in a tent. So this is a tent right here. You can either find it on the ground, just like this, or you can find it like deployed, like this. 
So you will see the tent. You can either like take it or you can just manage storage as you can see. So I'm just going to manage it and I can put any of my stuff inside of it. So I'm just going to put uh, like equip this and then manage and then I should be able to put it. Yep, there it is. So that's the MK7 and then I'm going to put my sniper and I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put the other thing right here and there it is. So just like that, just attach two items as simple as that. As you can see, it says your tent right there. So yeah, this is basically the idea. Just find one of these tents. They're literally everywhere on the map. Just grab it with F. <laughs> you can right click, go inside of it. And you just have all of your stuff right here. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just attach two items and that should be the quest. For this quest, essentially you have to damage opponents with a shotgun. So that's very easy. Just uh, let's spawn an opponent right here. And uh, the tough thing here is to deal 1000 damage with this. So uh, as you can see right now, I can only deal like 100 because that guy did not have any shields. So if you fight 5 people with full shields, so that's 200 times 5, that's exactly 1000 damage. So you can either do this in uh, in like solo mode and just uh, defeat like 5 to 7 people. Or you can just go into team rumble mode and uh, just keep spamming shotgun damage until you can read the quest. It's very, very easy to just deal 1000 uh, damage and that should complete it. For this quest, essentially you have to uh, search 15 chests, so that's very very easy to do, just very simple, just find these chests and just open them, they're super super easy to find, and uh, right now I'm in a random spot, I'm uh, right over here, <laughs> but I highly recommend going to any PUI like Greasy Grove, Camp Cuddle, uh, Rocky Reels, and you'll find a lot of chests, uh, the, the spot where I find most of my chests is actually Sleepy Sound, like here, this PUI has uh, so many chests, like unbelievably, unbelievably a lot of chests. So just go there, find one of those chests and just open them and that should complete the quest. For this seasonal quest, this is you have to open five coolers. So these are the five cool these are the coolers, not the five coolers. So this is what they look like. It's basically a like white sort of like ammo box that you can search. And you can get a bunch of like meds from it. As you can see, we got a chuck splash and a guzzle juice. And basically these are all around the map. I will uh, actually uh, leave like a uh, an image right here. So as you can see, this is the spawn location for all the coolers. Uh, so I already like made a video with this like all the cooler locations if you want you can check it out on my youtube channel you can just write all cooler locations in fortnite chapter 3 and this video will pop up uh, other than that you can just take a screenshot of this and as you can see the coolers like don't spawn like uh and some some locations don't have any coolers in them so that kind of sucks so right now i'm in this, this spot right here if you can see my cursor uh, that's where i found like that cooler right there uh, but basically you can go to any of these like locations and you'll find the coolers only you ne only need to search five so i'm not just i'm not gonna like <laughs> go around the map just to show you five locations here are all the locations you can go to whichever you want uh, also remember these are not like 100 percent the spawn rate is 90 percent so for example if you go right here you might actually find only like three or four coolers so don't be mad if you don't find all of them uh the spawn rate is kind of random uh but basically these are the like spawn locations for all the coolers in fortnite chapter 3 just find five and that should complete the quest for this uh, seasonal quest it says you have to uh slide continue continuously for 25 meters and for that i highly recommend going to the daily bugle py just because of this like a volcano incline thingy so just go right over here and that should be like 25 meters that's a good incline so I'm just going to uh, ping it just to see how many meters it is. So I'm just going to do this. And okay, let's see. That's 7. That's 90. All right, there, there it is. So we have to glide all the way there. So we're just going to do that. And oh. And yeah, that's the basic idea. It's very simple. This is, the, this is almost like 70 or uh, 60 meters. So yeah, this is the best way to do it. I highly recommend coming to this spot right here. Just slide along the, uh, the volcano and that should complete the quest. Very, very easy. For this seasonal quest, it says you have to bounce five times on Spider-Man's bounces, which are these bounces right here, as you can see. And uh, basically, you have to bounce five times without touching the ground, which is not that easy. But I highly recommend coming to this spot right here, Daily Bugle, because this spot has so many like bouncers, so many Spider-Man bouncers. So I'm just going to try to uh, do the thing like I'm going to bounce five times without touching the ground. OK, and hope oh, that's one. That's two. That's three and four and then finally we'll bounce on this one for number five and yeah <laughs> that's the basic idea it's very very simple <laughs> so just like i said just come to daily bugle right here bounce five times on the spider-man uh, bouncers and that should complete the quest also make sure you bounce five times without touching the ground if you touch the ground you have to do it again for this uh, seasonal quest this is you have to talk to guaco bunker jonesy and cuddle team leader so those are three npcs that you have to find and talk to so I'm going to show you all three locations for all three NPCs. The first NPC, which is going to be Guaco, is going to be right here at Greasy Grove. So it's going to be right in this like uh, restaurant right here. So there's the NPC icon right there. Just going to destroy this wall. 
And there it is. That's Kwaku. Dancing as usual. Here we go. And we simply talk to him. So that's one NPC down. Two more to go. The second location is going to be the Cuddle Team Leader NPC location. And it's going to be at Camp Cuddle, obviously. So just go to this house right over here. This blue house thingy. And the Cuddle Team Leader should be right there. Like walking around. So that's NPC number two. Where you at? There it is right there. So let's go talk to them. Here we go. That's Cuddle Team Leader, as you can see. Only one more to go. The third location is going to be at the Jonas's PUY. So just make your way to this spot right here. And you will find the Bunker Jonesy NPC uh, just walking around. He's usually next to the RV. So let's just look for the for the icon on the, uh, on the map. And he should pop up. Yep, there we go. So that's Bunker Jonesy right there. And you simply talk to him. So yeah, as simple as that. Uh, also remember, the Joneses right here are... Uh, they're not 100%. They don't spawn 100%. Like each game, a different Jonesy like spawns in this in this PY right here. So sometimes you'll find Jonesy the first. Sometimes you'll find like uh, Bra Brainiac Jonesy, and sometimes you'll find Bunker Jonesy. So you're gonna have to visit this spot a bunch of times to find Bunker Jonesy. And yeah, that's it. That's basically it. That's all three NPCs. Just talk to them, and that should complete the quest. For this uh, week three seasonal quest, it's just you have to uh, uh, like collect two stored items in a tent. So this is the tent right here. You can find it either like either a, like a pitch tent or like a like a, a rolled up tent like this, and you can just pick it up and you can just throw it. And as you can see, there's our tent right there. It says your tent, and you can just manage storage using E. So I'm just gonna use my like uh, I'm gonna like uh, hold out hold out my AR. Just gonna click E, and then I'm gonna put my AR right there, and then I'm gonna hold out my pistol, and then I'm gonna like do this right here. So those are both like stored in the tent, and now you just have to clean them again. So I'm just going to take that out. So that's my AR. And then I'm going to take out my pistol. And yeah, that's basically it. Just collect two items from your own tent. And that should complete the quest. Very, very simple. For this uh, seasonal quest, it says you have to deal damage at Condo Canyon or Rocky Reels. So it's very, very simple. Just make your way to either Condo Canyon right here, to this PUI, or to Rocky Reels right over here. But I highly recommend Condo Canyon because a lot of people land at Condo Canyon because it's a, it's a cool like desert PUI and a lot of people just simply land here. For that reason and you just deal damage here so it's very simple so let's spawn an enemy right here and we're just gonna deal damage to them it's as simple as that and yeah that's the basic idea just keep landing here deal enough damage to complete the quest and uh, yeah that's it very easy for this week three seasonal quest is this you have to uh visit two uh, two like seven outposts in a single match so these are the seven outposts right here so this is one right here this is where i am right now i highly recommend coming to this one first because this one is super close to another one uh, just basically just land here on top of this mountain you can loot up if you want and then you just simply come here and you take the uh, you take the rifts right over here as you can see there's the rift and you just take that and you just glide your way to the second location which is all the way over there so i highly recommend starting with the with the with the one like at the higher elevation on the mountain because like simply gliding like this will take you like 90 percent of the way to the second uh like uh, seven outpost which is this right here i'm gonna ping it on the map as you can see, it's pretty far, but do, by doing this, you get really, really, really close to it. So, yeah, I'm going to just skip ahead through the power of editing. All right, here we are. So, yeah, just like that. So, this is the second seven outpost. There are more on the map, so I'm just going to show you, show you a couple more, just in case these ones don't work, because you never know, like, these quests can get buggy. So, this one is a seven outpost right there. Uh, this one right here is a seventh outpost. And then there's this one right over here. And then, then there's this one right over here. So you can visit either of those, uh, it should work. And yeah, just like that, you would have visited like two seven outposts in a single match. Very, very easy. For this uh, week three seasonal quest, it says you have to hit 100 hit points uh, like uh, uh, while uh, harvesting. So these are the hit points right here. So when you harvest something, when you pickaxe it, a small like blue circle will pop up for a short while. If you don't hit it, it will disappear. So you need to hit that. So just hit this. That's one, two, three, four, so as you can see, you need to do this on a lot of items. So I highly recommend doing it on rocks because rocks are pretty sturdy and brick, of course. And yeah, just keep hitting the blue circle. So make sure you do that. You get crit damage and uh, basically you just need to do that 100 times, like hit 100 circles and that's 100 hit, uh, hit points. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week three seasonal quest, it says you have to get 10 eliminations with assault rifles. So uh, basically you just need these assault rifles right here. You either use the, uh, the Ranger assault rifle or the MK7. So these are the assault rifles in the game right now. These are the only assault rifles that you can use. So just grab that and then basically you just find opponents and you eliminate them. It doesn't matter where you eliminate them as long as you do. 
So that's one. We'll, we'll use this one right here. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just get 10 eliminations just like that. And that should complete the quest. Very, very easy. For this week for seasonal quests, essentially you have to deal 75 damage with pistols using a like uh, by getting headshots. So it doesn't count if you get like a body shot with a pistol. So make sure you aim for the head. So let's just spawn a, an enemy right here. And you just aim for the head. That's 50. That's 100. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Just get two headshots. This is not easy by any like <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but I highly recommend doing this with an upgraded pistol. So make sure you upgrade your pistols to at least an epic variety because it does deal a lot of damage. And you just aim for the head. Just deal 75 damage, and that should be the quest. Very simple. For this week for seasonal quest, it says that you have to uh, farm 150 wood from uh, log jam lumber yard, uh, the Jonas's or Shifty shafts. So for that, I highly recommend coming to uh, Logjam Number Yard right here. So this is the PY right here. Uh, this is the best spot to do this because of all of these logs of wood laying around. So literally, it's literally a yard for logs. <laughs> so you can just farm these and it will give you 150 wood very, very fast. This is super, super easy. So I highly recommend coming to this spot. Of course, if you want to come to, uh, go to the other spots of the, of, or if you find them easier, this is Shifty Shafts right here. And this is the Jonas's right here. So you can just farm like standard trees. Uh, but I highly recommend coming to this PUI right here because of these. Just farm them. And yeah, it's pretty simple. Just farm 150 wood very, very fast. And that should copy the quest. Very simple. For this week for seasonal quests, it says you have to detonate gas cans to destroy objects. So this is the gas can right here, as you can see. You can find these basically everywhere on the map. Uh, mostly I find them in, um, in these like gas stations right here. So you can just go to any gas station and you should be able to find at least one. And you just detonate it by putting it next to an object. So, for example, we'll put it here. And you just detonate that. And you watch it burn. So that's the basic idea. You just have to do this twice. You can do it on simple objects or you can destroy, like, enemy uh, structures with it. And yeah, let's just do it twice and that should be the quest. Very simple. For this week, four seasonal quests, is that you have to dance at Shocker Speedway, Rocky Wheels, and then Greasy Grove. So the best way to do this is to land at uh, Chonker Speedway because you will find all of these like uh, tiered up uh, like uh, cards. So these are super fast and you can go really, really fast with this. So we just dance really fast. So we'll just do this or we'll do this, I guess. <laughs> so this is dance number one, as you can see. And then we just grab one of these cards and then we ping the next location. So let me ping the next location right here. And then we make our way to that location with these cards and you'll get there really, really fast using these cards. So that's location number one. And this is location number two, as you can see. We just made it. Of course, if you used all of your like uh, all of your fuel by boosting to get to this point, uh, you can use one of these cars right here, so you can switch cars. So make sure that whenever you reach here, you don't forget to dance. So this is dancing at the second location. And now we make our way to the third location, which is super simple. Just follow the road. We'll go to Greasy Grove. All right, and here we are. So this is location number three, as you can see. And oh, we just get out and we do our little dance. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it. Just dance three, uh, like uh, at these three locations, and that should copy the quest. So I'm just gonna ping them again just for, to make sure. So Greasy Grove, Rocky Reels, and Chonker Speedway. And yeah, that's it. For this week for seasonal quest, it says you have to experience refill effect for 15 seconds. So this is the like only thing I can think about when it comes to refill is the guzzle juice right here. Uh, because when you drink this casual juice right here, it gives you a, a, like a, uh, a health effect. Actually, I need to <laughs> I need to le le lose a couple of HP. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to fall off. Okay. So when I eat this, as you can see, it gives me this like soda effect all around. And it lasts for quite a while. So you might want to find a lot of these. And uh, when, when you, uh, they're normal like they're normal like HP items, but I highly recommend going to risky rocky reels, not risky reels. <laughs> so go right here, and you will find the white ammo boxes, the coolers. And basically, whenever you open the cooler, there is a very very high chance that you find this uh, this like guzzle juice. And yeah, you just use it for 15 uh, seconds, like you have the effect lasting on you for 15 seconds, and that should complete the quest. For this week four seasonal quest, since you have to deal 400 damage with rare or higher, uh, like rarity for uh, for uh, shotguns. So basically, you need shotguns that are either rare, epic, or legendary, such as this shotgun right here. So these two are epic, and you basically deal 400 damage. So just spawn enemies, and you deal damage. It's very very simple. To deal 400, you need to either kill four enemies. Come on. You either need to kill four enemies with 100 HP. 
or you need to, to kill two enemies with 100 HP and 100 shield. And yeah, that's basically it. Just deal 400 damage and that should complete the quest. Super, super simple. For this week, four seasonal quests, it says you have to hide in stealth grass for uh, 10 seconds. So stealth, stealth grass is basically this new type of grass right here, as you can see. And when you go inside of it, you literally become like uh, stealthy. <laughs> so this is the basic idea. Uh, let me ping where I am right now for you to come here. So uh, this is the this is one of the spots. There's also some stealth grass right here. There should be also a couple more uh, right over here next to the Jonas's. Uh, but these two spots I'm uh, like 100% sure of. So just come here. Let's hide in this stealth grass for 10 seconds. Uh, and yeah, that's the basic idea. It's very, very simple. Just hide and that should be the quest. For this week four seasonal quest, it says you have to get 10 eliminations with an SMG. So that's really, really simple. You just find yourself one of these SMGs right here. The Stinger SMG with any like rarity. And you simply get eliminations with that weapon. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just get 10 of those and that should complete the quest. I highly recommend doing this in Team Rumble mode because you will be seeing a lot of people and uh, they just respawn and you can just kill them repeatedly. So yeah, I highly recommend doing it there. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Very, very simple. For this week, four seasonal quests, it says that we have to deal 100 damage to players with a harvesting tool. So this is your harvesting tool right here. And you just need to pickaxe somebody to death. So let's pretend this is somebody that we hot dropped on. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Uh, to do this like efficiently, there are two ways to do it. Either just jump uh, like straight out of the battle bus. If the battle bus starts from here, just straight, uh, like jump straight out and just follow somebody who lands. And the moment they land, land right after them and just pickaxe them to deal as much damage as you can. Or the second way is to go AFK. Just let yourself go all the way to the ocean right here like in the battle bus and uh, there's always somebody afk in the battle bus so you'll see somebody uh like uh floating with you just uh, afk and you just follow that that person just let them land all the way in the ocean you land with them and you pickaxe them so that's the basic idea uh you don't really need to kill anybody you just deal 100 damage with a pickaxe which is very very much doable and yeah that's uh that should complete the quest very simple for this week, five seasonal quests. It says you have to do, uh, build structures at three different locations, which are Sleepy Sound right here, Coney Crossroad right here, and then Farney Condo Canyon. So as you can see, it's a long way <laughs> around. So I highly recommend either doing this at three different games, or you can just land here at Sleepy Sound. This is like my, this is uh, like the the best path that you can use. So just land here, and you you should instantly like grab one of the cars. Just build really really fast. So I'm just gonna build like this. There it is. Then I'm just gonna take the car. Ah, oh, this one doesn't have. <laughs> that one doesn't have uh, the wheels on. It's just gonna grab this car right here, and then you simply make your way to the next PUI as fast as you can because you can follow the road and it should take you straight to the next PUI. So the next one is Coney Crossroad and it's very very close. So we're gonna go use the car, and here we are at Coney. So just make sure you reach like the center of the PUI so that the uh, the quest counts. So here we are. Just gonna build real fast. Do that. And then we're going to grab the same car and we're going to make our way to the next location. So let me ping it on the map. So this is the next location right here. And it's going to be a real drive. So this is going to take a while. You can just exit and uh, do it in a separate game. Or you can just like go there with the car. Uh, both are uh, very doable. All right. So we finally made it to uh, Condo Canyon. Here we are. So like I said, just make your way to the center of the PUI. Just so the quest counts. Because sometimes the qu these quests like get buggy for no reason. So just make sure you get here and there it is it's just gonna build for the third time and yeah that's basically it you just build at three through at these three locations so this one this one and this one and that should complete the quest very simple for this week five seasonal quest it says that you have to abandon uh, to claim an abandoned tent not abandon a claim tent so the uh, best spot that i found to do this uh, quest is uh, literally the daily bugle so just make your way to this spot right here and there should be a lot of tents on the roofs so as you can see this is like the main roof and you will always find these tents right here. So you can just claim one of them. So just claim this one. And there it is. It says my name there. It says your tent. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just come here, claim one of these tents, and you will get 25k XP. Pretty simple. For this week, five seasonal quests, it says you have to drive a vehicle through water. So uh, what I do, just come right here to Log Jam Number Yard, since there is a giant lake next to you. And there will always be a giant truck right here. Just grab the truck. And you just uh, drive it in the water. Just as simple as that. So that's the basic idea. Of course, you can do this anywhere. You don't have to come here. So just do that, and that should be the quest. For this week, five seasonal quest, it says you have to knock down five timber pines. And timber pines are these like large, like uh, snowy, uh, like gigantic trees. It's not this tree. So this is a normal tree, as you can see. But this one you can actually knock down. 
So you can just do this. It only requires like a couple of hits. And that's what it means to knock down a, uh, a pine. So that's one. And as you can see, there's a lot of these all around. So this is the location that I'm in right now. So just make your way to this spot right here, right next to Log Jam Lumberyard. These pines, you will find them like all around this area. So I'm right here and just uh, like choose five of these, just knock them down. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll just knock down this one just to make sure. It's just gonna show you again. There it is right there. And up. Oh, as you can see, it gets knocked down. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just knock down five and that should complete the quest. For this week 5 seasonal quest, it says that you have to gain 100 shields using the new item, the uh, shield keg. And to do that, you just have to come to the uh, John Lama NPC, Lieutenant John Lama. Just go to this spot right here, right next to Logjam Number Yard. Of course, this shield keg, you can find it like anywhere. You can find it in supply drops, you can find it on floor loot or chests. But if you want to have it instantly and just finish the quest, just come here and buy it straight from the NPC. So as you can see, it costs 250 and there's a stack of 4. So just make sure you don't have any uh, any shields on. So I'm just gonna go away just in case somebody shows up. Just gonna show you how to do it right here. There we go. So yeah, basically uh, this item gives you 150 shields. So it's more than enough. You only need 100. And you just sit around. Just wait for the shield to reach 100. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Of course, if you want to do this faster, you can just buy both. Like buy two of these and just stack them on top of each other. And they will heal you actually. They will actually heal you faster. So as you can see, I'm gaining shields. Just wait for that until it reaches 100 shield. And that should complete the quest. There it is. And as you can see, it's still going. It gives you 150 in total. And yeah, that's it. That's the basic idea. This is the easiest way to do it. I highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, that's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week 5 seasonal quest, it says you have to teleport using uh, like different uh, rift generators at different uh, 7 outposts. So basically, this is a rift generator, as you can see. It generates rifts all around. There's one rift, there's one another rift, and there should be another one right here. So uh, at each 7 outpost, there is a rift generator. And basically, you just need to go to 3 of these and use the rifts in the in the outpost. So right now, I'm at this one right here. I'm going to go to the 3 closest outposts uh, to each other. So that, that one will take me right here. And then from this one, I'm going to go all the way to this one. In case you want to know all the locations, so that's three. There's seven in total. So there's one right here. There is uh, one right uh, over here. Uh, there's one right here. One right here next to a greasy grove. And yeah, that's basically it. That should be seven. And uh, yeah, all you have to do is just go to the rift. So I'm just going to use this rift right here. And as soon as you uh, as, as soon as soon you use it, pop your, uh, pop your glider and go right over here to this one. It's going to get you super, super close to the, to the next outpost, which is that, as you can see. And you're going to just fly around. I'm just going to make our way over there. All right, here we are. We are at the second location. When you come here, make sure you use another one of these, like, rift outposts right here. So we're just going to use this rift right here. And now we're going to make our way to the middle of the map. So let me ping the uh, next location. So this is going to be the next location for you to go to. So there it is right there. Uh, this does not get you uh, exactly where you want to go. But if you go inside the water right there, like, if you go... Uh, right over here you can swim all the way to this spot so these are the three closest outposts to each other that i can find and yeah that's the basic idea so i'm just gonna make our way to the third location all right here we are so this is the third location and once you reach here make sure you use one of the rifts at the rift generator so this should be teleport number three and up and that's practically it that's three teleports at three different rift generators at three different outposts <laughs> and yeah that's it that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest for this week five seasonal quest it says that you have to destroy 15 structures using the motorboard uh like missiles so basically just find yourself one of these motorboards right here so this is a motorboard you can find them literally anywhere near a lake near like any body of water you'll find one right now i'm at this one right here you can find motorboards everywhere, like I said. You can go to Sleepy Sound, you can go to any spot. And you just have to destroy 15 structures. Now, it doesn't say if it has to be your own structures, or it's an enemy structure, or it's just a normal structure. So, you're going to have to try it on all of those. So, you just throw the missiles. And as you can see, just do that. Make sure you destroy 15 of those. And if that does not count, just use it on normal structures, like these ones right here. So as you can see, that's destroyed. And yeah, that's basically it. I highly recommend doing this in Team Rumble mode. Just find one of the boats, go along the water. You'll find people fighting and like uh, turbo building. And all you have to do is just aim and like uh, launch the missile. And that should complete the quest.
For this week six seasonal quest, it says you have to travel 100 meters while tra while traveling like uh, around a tornado. So these tornadoes right here, as you can see, are the new like weather system in Fortnite. They are pretty random. They do happen every game, uh, or at least a 90% chance of them spawning every game. So whenever you see these tornadoes, just go to them and just float around the tornado for 100 meters. So let it just take you wherever. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's the basic idea. Uh, I highly recommend floating around the map in the middle of the map until a tornado spawns and you can just go to it. Or you can just uh, grab a Spider-Man web shooter from any of these spots that you already know about, probably. Uh, just grab that and be ready for the tornado just look out <laughs> just become a tornado watcher whenever you find one just go to it and float around it for 100 meters and that should complete the quest seasonal quest it says you have to deal damage to an opponent within 30 seconds of crouching in uh, stealth grass and in case you don't know this is stealth grass right here so this is what it looks like it's literally like a uh, tall grass that you can go through and i highly recommend this spot right here so i'm just gonna uh ping it on the map just go to the daily bugle the uh this side of the daily bugle there's a lot of tall grass all around is there is there a freaking wolf hunting me yeah there is okay so as you can see there's the grass right there there's more grass over there and there's even more grass all the way over there as you can see so what you have to do is just go inside of it so i'm just going to do that and once you crouch inside this tall grass so just crouch and then you have once you exit you have 30 seconds to find an opponent and deal damage to them so we're just going to spawn an opponent and we're going to deal damage so as long as you do this within 30 seconds of exiting the tall grass while crouching, you can complete the quest. Also remember, these quests, uh, the tall grass quests, kind of like are kind of buggy from time to time. So if it doesn't work at the at the at the first time, just keep trying it on different uh, like tall grass until the quest is completed. This week six seasonal quest is that you have to uh, buy a random item from a malfunctioning vending machine. So for that, you need to find yourself one of those malfunctioning vending machines. Just go to Sleepy Sound right here. This is one of the best spots to find these uh, vending machines because this POI has three of them. Uh, there are a couple of spots where you can find three of these vending machines. And you just have to look at them and see if the vending machine is bugged or not. So uh, I'm just going to look here first. So the vending machine should be underneath the thing. No, this one is not bugged. Somebody's already shooting at me for some, for some reason. So I'm just going to grab this. And this. I'm just going to heal up. And I'm going to show you the two other locations. Okay, so the next location, if this one is not bugged, uh, to, to know if a vending machine is malfunctioning or not, uh, it will have a red screen with an exclamation mark on it. And when you purchase something from it, it will give you a random item. So the next one should be around here. There's the icon. Ah, this one is not bugged either. And then the next one should be all the way on the other side. Just use this car. And this one is not bugged either. <laughs> so we got a little bit unlucky, sadly. So I'm going to include a picture in the, uh, like right now, uh, as you can see. So this is the location of all the vending machines in the game right now. Credit to Fortnite.gg for the, uh, uh, for the, uh, for the picture. Uh, as you can see, you just go to uh, any location until you keep, like, you keep uh, scouting for vending machines until you find a malfunctioning one. Once you do, just interact with it, buy something, and that should create a quest. This week's six seasonal quest is that you have to destroy three uh, timber pine stumps. So basically, these are the timber pines right here. This is like the large, like, whitish tree. So basically, once you destroy one, it will leave behind it a stump. So, so this is the three stump right here. So you need to destroy this right here. So just destroy three of these. So that's one. And this is two right here. And this is three right here. I'm going to ping my location in a second. So I'm just going to show you that I've done three. So that's one, two, and that's the third one. And this is my location right now. Just go right here and you will find three of them uh, like located next to each other. So you can do it instantly. Or you can just walk around. As you can see, there's a lot of them all around this area of the map. The snowy area where the uh, uh, lumberyard uh, POI is. And yeah, that's basically it. Just all you have to do. For this week's six seasonal quest, it says that you have to uh, like recover health by resting in a tent. So basically, uh, you just want to go to the Daily Bugle right here. It's one of my favorite spots to grab a tent. Uh, because not only will you find the Spider-Man web shooters all around, you will also find the tents all over the rooftops. So as you can see, these are the tents right here. I believe there should be a couple more right over here. Yeah. So you just grab the tent. You claim it. So that's yours right there. You just uh, manage the storage. And then you start simply just deploy it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why it's not deploying there. Okay. And you just press, press F to rest. 
And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, make sure you have taken a little bit of damage because you need to uh, restore a certain amount of health. So yeah, just do that and just restore health using the tent. Uh, that should complete the quest. Very simple. For this week six seasonal quest, essentially you have to mark an enemy player using a flare gun. So this is the flare gun right here. You can find it anywhere on the map. It's very pretty random. Just find it inside chests or floor loot or even supply drops. So you simply find yourself an enemy and you just mark them with the thing. As you can see, they are... I'm just going to do this again. I'm just going to aim higher. So this should mark them. Yeah, there it is. You see the red marker on top of their head? That's how you mark an enemy player. Make sure you aim on top of them. As you can see. And then you just kill them. If you want, of course. But yeah, that's the basic idea. Just find your way, find yourself one of these flare guns. Just keep marking enemies until the quest is completed. For this week 6 seasonal quest, it says you have to uh, honk a car horn near a player or within 10 meters of a player. So make sure there's 10 meters between you. So that's 7, that's 10. And then we're going to spawn a, an enemy player right there. And then you simply go to any car next to you. So this one right here. And then you press, press the right mouse button to honk. And as you can see, just honk around them. And yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. Just do that. And that should copy the quest. It's super, super simple. For this week 7 quest, it says you have to harvest stone from the temple, the ruins, or the uh, Tumble Town temple. So basically, we're just going to go to the temple itself. Just go to this PUI right here, right next to the Daily Bugle. You will find the like these temple structures, as you can see. They're pretty dope. Nobody really lands here. And uh, yeah, the basic idea is just come here and just farm a uh, brick or stone, whatever you want to call it. Just keep farming until you hit the required amount, and that should complete the quest. It's very, very simple. For this week's 7 quest, it says you have to eliminate 3 IO forces. So there are uh, currently 2 locations that IO forces spawn. This is the first location right here, just make your way to this spot. You will find 2 uh, IO NPCs, and then you can go to this location right here, you will find the other 2. So uh, you can just uh, do those 2 locations, or you can just drop at the same location twice. And you just have to kill 3 of these NPCs right here. So this is the first guy right here. So that's one. There's the other one right there. He's coming to protect his friend. Hey there, buddy. And yeah, as you can see, that's two of them. There's also an extra like IO chest right here. And like I said, you can just exit the game and just come again and, uh, at this location and just kill them again. Or you can just, if you can, of course, you can just make your way to this uh, location right here. You will find the second drill. So this is the first drill location. You'll find the second drill and just basically just uh, kill the other NPCs and that should complete the quest. Very simple. For this week's 7 quest, it says you have to throw a clone berry while standing within 10 meters of a clone bow. So just make your way to this spot right here on the map. And you will find the Haven NPC uh, that you can buy the clone berry fruit from. So this is the Haven NPC as you can see right here. And there's the clone bow. So you can just buy the clone berry. Each will cost 25. She can give you uh, a stack of four. Or you can just go to the plants right here. There are actually clone berry plants uh, right next to the NPC that you can just farm for two uh, clone berries per plant. So as you can see, each one gives you two. That's two more. And there's uh, uh, six uh, in total. And then we just make our way to the friendly clone bow dinosaur. So there he is right there. Here you go, buddy. So, uh, like, the location for this dinosaur is kind of random. Uh, they're literally everywhere on the map. Uh, this is where I found this one right here next to the NPC. There's one near uh, Tilted Towers. There's one near uh, Logjam Lumberyard. And as you can see, you just uh, throw the clone berry at them, and he eats them. <laughs> so that's the basic idea. Just make sure you throw it within 10 meters of this clone with this cutie, 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 cutie pie of a monster. And uh, you just give him the clone berry fruit, and that should come with quest. For this week's 7 quest, it says you have to deal damage to opponents with grenades or grenade launchers. So you can either find these grenade launchers right here, which are the best option for this uh, for this uh, like uh, for this quest, or you can just find normal grenades all around the map, and you just deal 75 damage. So just gonna do this, and we're gonna deal damage with this. Come on, I am rusty with these. <laughs> I haven't used them in a while. Ow. Are these, are these all of them? Are they all missing? There it is. Okay, that's 74. And that's 74 again. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe how rusty I am with the grenade launcher. I need to practice more. But yeah, that's the basic idea. Just uh, like lob some grenades to enemies, deal damage to them, and that should be the quest. For this week's 7 quest, it says you have to interact with a, uh, a computer terminal at a mole team drill site. So this is the mole team drill site right here. As you can see, on the this is the location on the map. There are two of them, one here and one over here right next to Logjam Lumberyard. 
And basically, you just go walk up to the computer right here, right next to the I.O. chest, and you just begin scan. You just uh, interact with it. And yeah, that's practically it. Just do that, and that should complete the quest. As you can see, it scans everything. For this week's seven quests, it says you have to uh, destroy 30 objects while driving a quad crusher. So to get a quad crusher, I highly recommend going to this location right here, right next to log jam number yard. And you will find these quad crushers parked right in front of this house. As you can see, there's two of them. Is there somebody landing next to me? Nope. All right, so you just grab these and you just destroy objects, whatever object that you find. As you can see right there, you can destroy bushes, you can destroy small trees. And of course, you can just boost and try to destroy like bigger stuff. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just destroy 30 uh, objects using this quad crusher and that should complete the quest. For this week's seventh quest, it says you have to collect three different types of weapons at Shifty Shafts or the Sanctuary. So just make your way to the Shifty Shafts PUI. So this is it right here. Uh, this one is more simple, I guess. I'm just right here. So that's the PUI. Or you can just go to the Sanctuary, of course. That's the Sanctuary uh, PUI right there. There it is. And basically, you just go land here and you need to collect like three uh, different types of weapons. So an SMG, a shotgun, a sniper, stuff like that. So there's the uh, AR, we got an AR, so that's the first type. We need uh, two more types, let's see. Nope, that's another AR, that's not gonna work. We need something different. Mm, I believe we need weapons, so we, we can't use like any item. Oh, I see a shotgun. So that's two weapons. Ooh, what is that? Play audio, okay, okay, that's, <laughs> we'll do that later. So that's two kinds of weapon, we need one more. And there's the sniper, there it is. So basically, uh, you just find three different types of weapons, as you can see, the AR, the sniper, and the shotgun. And that should copy the quest. Just make sure you collect these at Shifty Shafts or the Sanctuary. For this week's seven quest, it says you have to damage opponents with a sniper rifle. So you need to deal 150 damage to opponents. So just uh, find one of these sniper rifles right here, like the Hunter, uh, uh, the Hunter Bolt uh, action sniper. And you can just uh, like find a an opponent. I highly recommend doing this in uh, Team Rumble mode. Just grab your sniper and just keep dealing damage to opponents. You need to deal 150 in total. So that's not like a lot. Just do that. And uh, yeah, that's practically it. Just deal 150 and that should be the quest. For this week's seven quest, it says you have to fuel up a vehicle with gas, which is very, very simple. Uh, right, Like you can grab the vehicle from anywhere. I'm just going to grab a uh, vehicle from here and go to this gas station. So I'm just going to grab this truck. And I'm just going to make my way to the uh, gas station right here. Come on. <laughs> so as you can see, there is a gas station right next to Tilted Towers that you can use. And you can just fuel it up. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just fuel up the vehicle and that should complete the quest. Very simple. For this week, eight quest is that you have to dance for Lana at a vending machine for five seconds. So this icon right here inside the vending machine, that's Lana, L-L-A-N-A. -A. So that's the, uh, I guess, the creature. And all you have to do is just stand uh, in front of the uh, of the machine, do a dance like a uh, emote. And you just dance for five seconds. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> So that's basically it. The vending machines are literally everywhere. This is not like a special spot that I found the vending machine in. Uh, right now, I'm right here at this gas station if you want to come here. If you go to any other spot, uh, like on the map, you'll probably find a vending machine. You will see a uh, like vending machine icon on the map. As you can see, if you look at the top right corner, you will see an icon. That's where the vending machines are. Just come here and dance and that should be the quest. For this week 8 quest, it says you have to destroy three different types of cactus plants. So for that, I highly recommend going to the uh, to the like uh, desert biome. So as you can see, this is the desert biome. Just go to this spot, for example, because nobody really uh, lands here. And all we have to do is just find three types of cactuses or cacti. And they should be all around. So let me just look. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm just going to ping this location. There is three different types right at this location. All right, here we go. So type number one is going to be the purple uh, bluish looking one right here. So just destroy that. Type number two should be this one, the green one. So destroy that. And there should be another type, which is which are these like short ones. So we'll destroy that. And just in case, just keep destroying a couple more. It should count in the top left corner. It should tell you if you hit the right, uh, the correct type or not. But as you can see, these are all like different types of cacti all over. Just destroy three different types and that should be the quest. For this week 8 quest, it says you have to spend 200 bars. So that's very, very easy to do. Uh, the best way to do this is to go to the upgrade station. So right now there's an upgrade station right over there, right underneath this spot. So I'm just going to ping it on the map. You can just come here. There we go. Let's destroy this. And this is the upgrade bench, as you can see. So just make your way to this spot at Lumberyard, uh, Logjam Lumberyard. And just use one of the weapons, the gray ones, maybe. 
and as you can see it costs exactly 200 gold so you just upgrade that you spend instantly 200 gold and the quest is instantly completed so yeah that's it that's all you have to do and that should be the quest if you want to talk to uh lampc number 21 make your way to this spot right here so there's a new spot right over here right behind greasy grove and rocky reels and you will find a new haven npc and she actually sh sells the uh, new clonberry uh fruit so there she is right there so this should have been like the new covert canyon py i'm pretty sure but i guess it, it got delayed like one week but at, la at last we got the uh, the npc herself so here we are haven there we go you can talk to her and as you can see you get the clonberry uh the clonberry uh fruit thingy for 25 she has a stock of four you can buy the rare uh assault rifle and then finally of course you can activate the rift to rotate from here and yeah that's it for this week eight quests it says you have to deal 150 explosive damage so basically you just find one of these right here the grenade launchers this is the best weapon to do explosive damage or you can just find the clingers or the like normal grenades and you just grab that and you go to team rumble mode or like the normal mode that like uh, 150 damage is not too much and you simply just deal damage to opponents so we're just gonna spawn an opponent and we're just gonna throw these at them and yeah, that's the basic idea. Just deal 150 and that should complete the quest. For this week 8 quest, it's very, very simple. It says you have to eliminate an opponent in Tilted Towers. So just make your way to this spot right here. So this is Tilted Towers. It's back. It's finally back in Fortnite Chapter 3. Just make your way to this PUI. Find yourself an opponent and just eliminate them. There it is. <laughs> so that's the basic idea. Just find somebody and uh, eliminate them. It's not going to be easy because everybody, every tire, every tryhard that has ever lived is going to land in Tilted Towers just to prove how how better they are at the game than you. So you're going to get, uh, you're going to have to get a little bit lucky, or maybe you can just third party two people who are already fighting. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just get one elimination in this POI, and that should complete the quest for this week. Eight quests. It says you have to restore 30 HP by consuming clonberries. So just make your way to this NPC right here, the Haven NPC. And as you can see, you can buy the clonberry for. 20 25 gold per uh, per i guess stack so this is the location right here you can go to that npc or you can just go farm the clonberries from the clonberry uh, uh plants which are these plants right here i already like uh gathered these like clonberries so they're already gone but each one will give you two uh, stacks so basically you get six out of this location and then we're just gonna take uh 30 damage uh i can use the i can use the uh, the campfire right here so i'm just gonna take 30 damage there it is and hop oh, okay so that's 30 damage and then we just consume the clone berries and we restore uh more than 30 hp and yeah that's practically it just do that and that should be the quest very, very easy for this week eight quest it says you have to glide for 150 meters after launching from a clombo's blowhole so go to this location right there and this is the other location that i found the clombo's in so as you can see this is the clombo it's practically the new dinosaur looks very cute we're just gonna build and go on top of him and as you can see there's the blowhole right there and it should send us up there it is uh, he usually uses this blowhole uh, like uh, like the action is provoked whenever you feed him something or whenever he finds something to to, uh, to eat and uh, basically just blows air from the uh, blowhole on top of his head and you just do that and you can, like glide for 150 meters and that should complete the quest very very simple for this week eight quests it says that you have to consume two pizza slices from a pizza party item so this is the pizza party item as you can see this is the full version for that there it is right there you can get this item from the tomato head npc right here at tilted towers so just make your way to the main building in the in the middle of the uh, of the pui you'll find the tomato head npc and you can buy these pizza party items you can buy four of them and each one will contain eight pizza slices as you can see this one has three i already consumed like uh five so uh once you drop the pizza party item like once you throw it so if i drop it i can pick it back up but if i throw it like if i aim with it and throw I will not be able to pick it back up as you can see right there I can't get it back like the pizza box is open and I have to consume the slices so uh, right now I cannot take any slices because I already have 50 shields and basically you cannot go over 50 shields with this but if I take some damage like uh, HP damage or shield damage I can consume more of it and yeah that's basically it just uh, <laughs> consume two of these hey come on be cool be cool be cool be cool be cool just consume two of these and that should copy the quest let's give this guy some pizza Yeah, pizza is for sharing, <laughs> not for not for fighting over. Let's give him some more pizza. There we go, buddy. For this quest, is that you have to reach uh, maximum shields in different matches. So it's very simple. You just need to eat whatever shields that you find, either minis, uh, uh, the uh, the pizza slice boxes, or the of course the big pots. So I already have fifty shields. So I'm just gonna drink this. This should top me off, and this should count as two out of three. I already did one. 
there it is so that's three max shields in different matches that's two out of three i just need to do this in one more match and that should be the quest for this quest it says you have to deal uh damage to opponents with heavy shotguns you need to deal 200 damage with this weapon right here so this is it right here the heavy shotgun so make sure you have this weapon and you just find yourself opponents and you deal damage to them it's very easy to do i highly recommend doing this in team rumble mode because that's much simplier just deal 200 damage with that weapon and that should complete the quest for this quest it says you have to uh loot supply drops so this is what a supply drop looks like uh they come pretty randomly in a game but if you want a 100 like uh um like chance or spawn rate for the uh, for the supply drops just go to the uh like to the uh, new covert canyon covered cavern i guess you kill the boss you get the key card and you go to the vault and the vault will have four guaranteed supply drops that you can open or of course you can just play team rumble mode in team rumble mode there will always be supply drops hanging like uh, like falling off and you just open one of them or two of them and that should be the quest for this quest it says that you have to ignite structures so there are a couple of ways that you can do this but the best way to do it is to use the flare gun because it sets things on fire super fast so just find anybody who is already like building especially in team rumble mode because a lot of people like uh, overbuild there just go to team rumble mode find this weapon shoot at the structure and as you can see it is set on fire especially wood structure it burns super fast as you can see it does it does it this like very 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 fast so yeah just find one of these weapons do this in team rumble mode destroy i think uh, ignite 10 structures and that should complete the quest for this quest this is you have to stoke campfires so this is a campfire right here once you light it up you can stoke it so i'm just gonna ping this location right here if you want to just come to where i am right now or you can just find the campfires randomly in the game they are everywhere and you just light it up and then you stoke it it costs 30 wood to stoke it so i can stoke it i, I think three times so that's one and that's number two so just yeah just stoke it twice and that should complete the quest very simple for this quest, it says you have to visit four different named locations in a single match. So that's pretty simple. Uh, named locations are these locations right here that have a name on top of them. Uh, you can do this pretty easily, especially these ones right here. These four, they're very, very close to each other. You can just, uh, you can just like land here, go to the, uh, go to the Shanta NPC right here. You can activate a rift or you can just take a rift from, from the, uh, from the sevens uh, outpost right here. You can go to Chunker Speedway and with the rift that I already told you about, you can go to Rocky Reels or the Jonases. These are super, super close to each other, like one of the closest like uh, uh, PUIs to each other. Or the uh, next thing that you can do is go to the Daily Bugle right here. You grab one of the Spider-Man Mythics and use that Mythic to swing around. You can go to Sleepy Sound, Shifty Shafts and Coney Crossroads in one go. So that's very, very easy to do as well. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just visit four locations in the same uh, game. Make sure you do it in the same game. And that should be the quest. For this quest, it says you have to restore health in the storm. So all you have to do is just go to the storm right here. So as you can see, it's already on me. Just going to go inside of it. And I'm just going to take some damage. I'm just going to use this medkit. So this is the medkit right here. You can use whatever item that restores health. And I'm just going to restore the health in the storm itself. Like I said, you can use anything. It doesn't have to be a medkit. And there it is. <laughs> as basic as that. As you can see, it's completed. Beautiful. For this quest, it says you have to destroy hiding places. And this is what a hiding place looks like. It says hide inside of it. So you can find these porta parties right here. Or you can find the uh, trash like bins. Uh, just go to any like main PUI. And you will find a bunch of trash bins all around. And simply like destroy any place that says hide right here. And you just destroy it. So this one I cannot destroy because it, it leads to the... Uh, to the um uh, to the freak to the freaking like vault uh but basically you just find any of these porta parties one of the best locations for this is the rocky reels just go right here find the porta parties and find the trash bins just destroy three of them and that should be the quest for this quest it says you have to consume forward items so as you can see this is what a forward item looks like and you can just consume it uh the best spot to find this is the uh, greasy grove location it's very easy to find quest uh, the uh, forge items there I'm just gonna exit this spot right here i'm way into the storm <laughs> So this is gonna fall off over here. I'm just gonna ping the spot that you can go to to find these forged items. So just go to this location right here. Greasy Grove, just go right here and go to the basement and you'll find a lot of uh, like consumables that you can get. Just uh, get those and that should be the quest. This week 10 quest, it says you have to get three seconds of airtime in a vehicle. So that's very, very simple. You just have to find yourself a vehicle. Just go to any like major PUI. You'll find a lot of vehicles, especially in Rocky Reels right here. So just grab a vehicle like this one right here. And then we're just going to make a, uh, a little ramp right over here. Just to gain like airtime in the air. There we go. We'll just destroy these. So they don't block our way. And we just like back off a little bit. And then we just go up the ramp. This should be way more than three seconds. <laughs> and there we go. This one, two, three, four. 
about four seconds. Very cool. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that, and that should complete the quest. Very easy. For this quest, essentially you have to build 20 structures, so that's very very easy to do. All you have to do is just farm up like a couple of mats. You need 200 mats in total, so I highly recommend like farming up trees all around the map. <laughs> this boar is attacking me for some reason. So I'll just go right like this, and we're just gonna spend 200. So the best way I do this is just go into like uh, into cone mode, and I just do this. <laughs> so it's not like the most practical way, but I'm not really uh, the best builder. So I can't really turbo build that fast. So if you're an average builder like myself, you can just do this. And as you can see, it goes through your mats very, very easily. All I just like, I just walked a little bit and I spent 200 mats. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just like build two builds, uh, 200 builds, not 200 builds, 20 builds. I'm sorry. <laughs> 20 builds, 200 mats, and that should complete the quest. Very easy. For this week 10 quest, you essentially have to search ammo boxes, so that's very, very easy. Uh, the best spot that I find to search for ammo boxes is uh, um, a Greasy Grove. Just go to this restaurant right here. It's full of ammo boxes from top to bottom. So I'm just going to show you a couple of spots. You just go through the back right here. There's usually an ammo box here. So as you can see, there's the big one right there. Uh, there are ammo boxes inside the uh, restaurant itself. So there's this one right here. There should be another one right here. Yep, there it is. So that's three. And then you just go to the bottom. I'm going to show you where the rest are. This spot is so full of ammo boxes. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. So there it is. There is uh, one here. Very awesome. And then you just go to the top. So make sure you grab a weapon here so you can def defend yourself. Because a lot of people land here. You can just wall this off. And then you can find the ammo boxes right over here. So uh, there should have been one there. And I believe there is one, uh, not this room, I think it's this room right here. Ah, no, <laughs> this one is gone. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. And then you just simply go up again, you just destroy it, go to the roof, and you'll find the next ammo box. And yeah, that's basically it. This is the best spot I find. Other than that, you can just walk around like the map, you can go anywhere and you'll find ammo boxes. Just open a few of them and that should complete the quest. Very easy. For this week 10 quest, you essentially have to uh, fish for a gun. So basically you just go to any like uh, lake or gigantic lake. So you can go right here, you can go here or here or here or even here. And you basically just grab yourself a fishing rod, which you'll find at like most of the piers. So this is a fishing rod barrel. So just uh, open that. We got a nice fishing rod right here. And then you just simply use it to find yourself a gun from the fishing spots. So we'll use this boat. And you just keep going to every fishing spot and just fish around until you grab yourself a gun. So hopefully the first one we get a gun. <laughs> I hope so. That would be nice. Nope. So you just keep fishing. You're just going to edit all the way to when I found the gun. There it is. Okay, so we got ourselves a, an epic machine pistol. Very cool. <laughs> so that's the basic idea. Just do that. And you grab yourself a gun with a fishing rod. And that should be the quest. For this week 10 quests, you essentially have to destroy mailboxes at uh, at uh, Sleepy Sound or Tilted Towers. So you just make your way to either location. I'm right here at Sleepy Sound or you can just go to Tilted Towers. And you just look for anything that looks like a mailbox. So this one for example right here. And you just destroy it. You need to destroy 5 of these. So you'll find them all around. There's also like the normal mailboxes. The one that stand like on a pole. Uh, you can find those in front of uh, on, in front of like normal houses. But basically you just destroy these. There's a bunch of them all around like I said. Just destroy anything that looks like a mailbox, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just destroy five of them, and that should complete the quest. Very easy. For this week 10 quest, you essentially have to deal 100 damage with the Klinger. So there it is right there. So you need to damage players with this. I highly recommend doing this in Team Rumble mode. This is what the Klinger looks like, as you can see right here. It's just a sticky bomb. So let's just spawn ourselves a uh, like an opponent right here, and we'll just deal damage to them. You don't have to kill them, really. You just stick them with the Klinger, and that should kill them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, that's 100 damage. Uh, like I said, you should do this in Team Rumble mode because everybody spawns with 100 health. So you just have to stick somebody with this, deal 100 damage to them, and that should be the quest. For this week, 10 quests, you essentially have to use 10 bandages, which is very, very easy to do. You just have to find these right here. So these are what bandages look like. You just have to use them. You need to be under 75 HP to use them. So let's lose some HP. Let's just this guy shoot us a little bit. Come on. You, you almost got it. Really? <laughs> okay. There it is. Okay, that's 70. And then you just use it. Of course, you can just uh, step on a campfire and just deal damage to yourself with a campfire and just keep healing. Or, of course, you can just take damage by uh, by getting like uh, by by uh, getting like some fall damage. So I'm just gonna do that. And there it is. You just use the bandages. You need to use these 10 times. Uh, the best way to do this is to find 10 of these. And you just go to the edge of the storm and you just keep uh, using them. 
So for example, right now I'm in Team Rumble mode, uh, not Team Rumble, but Lab mode. But basically you just go to the edge of the storm right here and you just step into the storm and you just keep using the bandages and then you lose some HP and then you use them again until you hit 10 bandages and that should complete the quest. So this quest is that you have to drive a quad crusher to Pinkle Peak. So as you can see, these are the quad crushers right here. This is what they look like. You can find them practically uh, anywhere, but this is the most optimal location to find them, which is this right here, the crack shot cabin. Or of course you can go to the, uh, to the gas station right over here. So just grab one of those and then we're just going to go to Pinnacle Peak. So we're just going to grab this and we need to make our way to Pinnacle Peak, uh, which is like the top of the uh, of the Covert Canyon. So let me ping it on the map. So this is uh, Pinnacle Peak right over here. So it's going to be the top of this like entire mountain. So just make sure like, to go through it, all of it. We'll just try to reach this location. All right, here we go. This should be fun. <laughs> Uh, of course, you can just make your way to a gas station if you don't have like enough uh, enough fuel in the in the uh, quad crusher. But as you can see, it's a straight like it's a straight line up, especially with the quad crusher. It's very easy to go up this hill. So that is Pinnacle Peak right over there, where the tents are, like logically. So this should count. And I'm just gonna make our way there. Let's go through these. And this is it. <laughs> As you can see, it's just like this. Just make your way to Pinnacle Peak with the Quad Crusher and that should complete the quest. Beautiful. For the first uh, drill site location, it's gonna be this one right here, north of the Daily Bugle. So just make your way to this spot right over here and you'll find the first drill site right here. So as you can see, there it is. There's the giant drill and there's the like uh, drill location. Pretty awesome. So this is location number one. Drill location number two is gonna be right over here, right next to uh, Log Jam Lumber Yard. So there it is right there. So just go to this spot location right over here and you will find the second location as you can see there it is we got the drill we got the io guards and of course the io chest beautiful so that's drill location number two drill location number three is going to be all the way to the south right between greasy grove and chonkers as speedway so just make your way to this spot right next to the lake and you will find the third drill location there it is right there as you can see so that's uh three locations the fourth drill location is going to be right over here, right in front of the Jonas's, right west of them. Just go to this spot right here, and you will find drill location number four. There it is, beautiful. So that's four out of five, only one more to go. For the fifth and final drill location is going to be right in the middle of the map, right between the Sanctuary, Delta Towers, and Pony Crossroads. So just make your way to this patch of dirt right here, and you will find the fifth and final drill location absolutely awesome that that's five out of, uh, out of five for this quest is that you have to defeat uh shanta ronin or main kink in a in a like duel so basically you just have to go where these npcs are uh just one of them should do you can go to main cake right here you can go to shanta for example right here you can just go to any of them so we're just gonna do main cake right here you just go to the npc and you interact with them and as you can see just it says right here challenge main cake so we're just gonna challenge them this let's read it again they have a lot of hp there it is <laughs> so yeah that's the basic idea just challenge them defeat them you get the weapons and you complete the quest very easy this quest is that you have to gain shields at the butter barn so just make your way to this spot right here this is the butter barn location if you ever want to come here so just make your way to this spot and you'll find the butter barn just between rocky reels and uh chonker speedway so we're just gonna make our way here as you can see, we got the main cake NPC. So we're just gonna look for some shields. Oh, there's shield there. Nice. We got the butter bar music. <laughs> so you just basically grab shields and you just restore shields as fast as you can. Uh, there's a lot of shields underneath as well, inside like consumables. And yeah, that's pretty much the idea. Just consume shields and that should complete the quest. So this quest is that you have to knock down a timber pine while driving a vehicle. So these are the timber pines right here. It's the tall, like gray uh, trees. And the best spot to do this is to come right here to Log Jam Lumber Yard, right to this spot right here. Uh, because there's always this like truck right over here that you can drive and you can just take it. And like the truck is the uh, the vehicle that does the most damage to like objects. And you just do this. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So if one does not work, you can just try it on the next one. As you can see, there's a bunch of timber pines all around. So that's one there. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. You can try it on this one. 
And there it is! So that's the basic idea, just uh, like knock down timber pines and that should complete the quest. Very simple. For this week 13 uh, quest, it's just you have to swing using Spider-Man's web shooters under the under an arch uh, of like Big Bridge, uh, the uh, the desert right there, or the Behemoth Bridge. So this is the biggest bridge like in the game right now. This is it right here. This should be called the Big Bridge or the Behemoth Bridge, whatever you want to call it. And basically you just have to come here and there should be a Spider-Man mythic uh, like around this bridge that you can always find. Uh, so this is the location right here. Just make your way to this bridge right over here. And there should be a, a Spider-Man Mythic. I already have one because I already like grabbed one before I came here. Uh, there it is right there. As you can see, there's the Mythic. So just do that. There's the Mythic. You just grab that and then you just simply swing. So we're just going to do that just like Spider-Man. And you need to swing under it just like this. You can try it a couple of times if it doesn't work the first time. Also, you can expect a lot of people coming here to, uh, you know, <laughs> wreck you. So, yeah, you gotta be careful and just, you know, swing underneath it a couple of times and that should complete the quest. It's very, very simple. For this week 13 quest, it says you have to uh, gather metal or harvest metal at uh, wind turbines, ravine or the uh, restaway shores. So, these are the turbines location. This is it right here. You can just come here just south of uh, Greasy Grove and you can just harvest metal here. Or you can just go to the uh, ravine or the, uh, I think, uh, Rusty Ravine. I think that's the name. I'm not too sure. Or Wreck Ravine, I think. So this is it right here. This is this is the uh, this is the spot. Uh, but basically, you can just come to either of these spots. These are the ones that I always come to. And you just have to uh, find yourself some metal. I don't believe you can farm this. Nope, you cannot. <laughs> so you can just have to, you got to have to be a little bit creative to find some metal or around here. I think there's a lot of metal like underneath, like over there. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just harvest as much metal as you can. I think there's metal on the other side as well. Yep, there it is right there. So there's the metal. So just farm metal. If uh, if you don't find enough metal here, you can just make your way to this location right here. And you'll find a lot of like, uh, can not canisters, the giant containers, the metal containers like all around the ravine. And you can just uh, farm those. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just farm enough metal and that should complete the quest. For this week 13 quest, it says you have to use a chuck splash at a gas station. So chuck splashes are literally everywhere. You can find them like inside chests and literally literally like everywhere. Uh, but the best spot to find them is here, like inside the, uh, the white coolers. So this is the cooler right here. I already opened it. So just come to this spot right here at Rocky Reels and you'll find a bunch of coolers all around the, the area. Just open one of these white boxes and there's a very high probability that you get that you grab a chuck splash right here. So that's very easy. And then we're just going to make our way to the closest gas station. So there's uh, this gas station. Then there's this one right here. So I'm just going to you can use the car. So normally you wouldn't have the Spider-Man web shooters. So I'm just going to use the car just as if I didn't have them. So I'm just going to show you the location. And you can simply just make your way to this gas station, which is super close, as you can see. Oh, apparently a tornado came by. We got a trash can. We got everything. <laughs> so we're just going to make our way right over here to this gigantic gas station. And you just drop here. Oh, lucky us. We already have a chuck splash here ready. And you just use it. So I think you just use it like uh, within the main area. And yeah, that's basically it. Just do that. And that should be the quest. For this week's 13 quest, it says you have to open produce boxes at Sleepy Sound or Condo Canyon. So I highly recommend coming to Sleepy Sound right here because I already know like the location here where it is. Uh, so this is Sleepy Sound. Just make your way to this spot right over here. Uh, of course, if you don't find anything here, just go to Conto Canyon. This is the location of Conto Canyon. But basically, if you make your way to this spot right here, as you can see inside this truck, you will find a bunch of produce boxes. These are the produce boxes right here. And you can like open them. You just have to open them. Uh, is there anybody, any, anything inside? Nope. And you simply go right here and you will find more. As you can see, there's a bunch of them. And you can just keep opening them until you get what you want. Of course, there's one up here. And yeah, that's the basic idea. I don't think there's anything else here. Just open uh, like a couple of these. This is the location, as, as I said. And in case you don't have enough here, you can just make your way to Conto Canyon right here. Or you can just go to the to the gas station over there or like the uh, the fill up like uh, maybe right here until you find some of these. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just open enough and that should be the quest. For this week's 13 quests, it says you have to throw a uh, medkit, a bandages, or any type of shield potions uh, while sliding. So you slide by holding left control like this. As you can see, you just hold left control and you can slide. And you can throw items or the like healing items by uh, holding right click and then you click left click. And that's how you do it. So you just combine those two. So I'm just going to go to a like little hill right here. I'm just going to slide and then I'm going to throw this. You can do it like a couple of times. And as you can see, there it is. It's very, very simple. You can even like build yourself a little ramp and you can just slide 
like uh, like through that. Yeah, like you can make your own hill. And you basically just grab the item, you slide. Nope. <laughs> I, I screwed that up. I need a running start. There it is. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that a couple of times and that should be the quest. It's very simple. For this week 13 quest, is that you have to collect bars. Now there's a couple of ways that you can collect bars. You can open chests, for example, and you, you can find bars inside of them. You can open cash registers inside of restaurants. So I'm just going to destroy this wall. And you, as you can see, there are cash registers all over. And you can just open these. Of course, I cannot really open these because uh, because I'm like in team uh, uh, my battle lab mode, and this mode is just a, is just a uh, like a sandbox mode, so it doesn't have like gold or stuff like that. Uh, but basically, you can make your way to this spot where I am right now. You can find these cash registers right inside, and you can just open them for gold. You can open chests. You can destroy these sofas right here, and you will find like gold inside of them. You can also get bounty uh, bounty boards uh, from the bounty board underneath, uh, like in the basement right here. Uh, you can also eliminate players and of course they will drop gold and yeah, that's the basic idea You could just grab gold literally everywhere Just uh, like collect the appropriate amount and that should be the quest for this week 13 quest It says you have to uh, reach max shield, which is very very easy This is just a fill up quest just in case one of the main quests like don't work But it's very simple. You just have to find yourself some shield potions for example two big pots or uh, or two uh, like mini shields and one big pot and you just drink the shields until you hit reach like uh, full shields which is very very easy to do you can also destroy like uh, chuck uh, like um, chuck barrels or you can just use chuck splashes uh, there are a bunch of ways to gain shields so it's very simple and yeah that's it just reach 100 shield and that should be the quest for this week 13 quest it says you have to deal damage to players using the striker pump shotgun so this is the shotgun that you want uh, i highly recommend doing this in team rumble mode because you can just find this shotgun once you find it you can just keep respawning and uh, like dealing damage to enemies so i'm just gonna spawn an enemy here and you just deal damage to them with the striker pump shotgun as you can see since it's a legendary it's a instant like kill but yeah that's a basic idea just keep dealing damage with it don't need to eliminate anybody really you just do damage with it and that should be the quest let me kill this guy first and yeah that's pretty much it very easy for this week 13 quest it says you have to use a guzzle juice so a guzzle juice is just an hp like a uh, bottle that's orange and you can find it anywhere but basically you can mostly find it in uh, like inside the uh, coolers which are the white boxes so i highly recommend coming to rocky reels right here because it's full of these coolers coolers right here you just open one of them and there's the guzzle juice right there easy as that so just come here, grab one of these. So I'm just gonna take some damage. I'm just gonna let the bot deal some damage to me. Yep, there we go. Come on, you got it, you got it. Come on. Right here, right here, buddy. Yeah, thank oh no, are you serious? <laughs> okay, that that <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay, so once you get you deal you deal uh, like you get some damage done. I'm just gonna like jump off a of a tree that should deal some damage. Just gonna use the guzzle juice in front of you just to show you how you know because some some people don't know how which is understandable like not everybody plays fortnite on a daily basis so they, some people don't know how it's just it's gonna take some damage and just use this and there it is so this is just a simple like uh, quest that might be removed it's just a placeholder it's only here because like they always add two extra quests in case one of the week 13 quests don't work so this is one of the simple ones for this week 14 quest, it says you have to decorate shell or high water and happy campers with flamingo lawn ornaments. So basically you just have to go to these two locations right here. This one, this is the first location right over here. This is the second location. We're going to start with this one right here, the shell and high water uh, location, which is this like villa right here. So there should be a couple of ornaments that we can interact with and it should appear on the map. Yep, there it is. I believe it's the one underneath us. So as you, if you look at the top right corner, there's a um, there's an exclamation mark that's the mark of the of the like uh, thing that you have to inter interact with so just follow that so there it is right there you just interact and there's the flamingo that's one out of five now we just roam around the uh the location and look for exclamation marks so this is another one this is the second location right here it has two of them just next to the fountain oh okay i see somebody <laughs> so that's three and there's two more right here Nice. All right. So I think we can, we can do this in one location. That's, and that's number five. Yep. There it is. Five out of five completed. Beautiful. This week 14 quest is that you have to land at wind turbines on top of like uh, these like, uh, like wind turbines. The gigantic wind turbines right here. And all you have to do is just survive for 30 seconds. Now, I don't really know what you're supposed to survive. Like uh, there's literally nothing here. So just land on one of these. 
But I assume since it is a quest, everybody's gonna land here. So we're gonna have to fight against everybody and you just need to survive for 30 seconds. Uh, the best way to do it is, I guess, to take the zip lines and grab like one of these like uh, weapons right here. So make sure you land on a chest, grab a weapon and just defend yourself as much as you can or just build or box up for just 30 seconds and uh, that's pretty much it just survive for 30 seconds and that should commit quest for this week 14 quest you essentially have to dance on top of a clombo so this is the clombo right here if you want like a 100 spawn rate for clombo he's always around here so he's always at this oasis right here and you just go to clombo right here you can climb on top of him like from the tail from the back or you can just build and jump on top of him and you just uh, go on top and just dance, which is very simple. Just do uh, this, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do this. Which this is considered dancing on top of a combo. And that should complete the quest. Very simple. For this week 14 quest, this is if you have to reach a speed of 65 in a vehicle in uh, Chonker Speedway or uh, the Behemoth, Behemoth Bridge. So basically just come here. Uh, this is the best spot to land. This is Chonker Speedway right here. And this is Behemoth Bridge, by the way. Uh, but just go here, you can grab one of these like uh, Ferraris or the whiplashes with the, with the upgraded tires And you just go and you just boost and as you can see at the right corner It says like 75 to 80 speed. So that's basically it. You just need to hit 65 and that should be the quest. Very simple For this week 14 quest, essentially you have to hide in the dumpster in Tilted Towers and the Daily Bugle So this is Tilted Towers right here. You just make your way to this uh, location And there should be a couple of dumpsters all around the uh, POI Just one second I believe there's one right around here. There it is, right here. So this is the exact location of the dumpster. Just come right here and just hide. So that's location number one. And then we go to the uh, Daily Bugle. So this is the Daily Bugle PUI. Just make your way to this spot right here. And there should be a couple of dumpsters all around. As you can see, there's one there, one there. I'm just going to ping it on the map, the exact location, just so you know when you come here. So this is the second dumpster, you just hide in it, and this is the exact location. And yeah, that's pretty much it, just hide in those two dumpsters. And For this week 14 quest, essentially you have to deal damage to opponents at Covert uh, Cavern or the Sanctuary. So either go to this location right here, or to this location right here. I highly recommend going to Covert Cavern because a lot of people come here. So just come here, land, get, grab a weapon, and deal damage to any opponent that you see. I highly recommend doing this in, um, in Team Rumble mode. Uh, because that would be easier, of course, if the circle is here. Uh, but yeah, just uh, grab any opponent or uh, like any opponent th that you see, just deal damage with them. And that should be the quest. For this week 14 quest, you simply have to open a 7 or an IO chest. And this is what a 7 slash IO chest looks like. So this is it right here. Right here, as you can see, it has the symbol right over there. And the basic idea is just for you to go to spots where you can find this chest. There are three uh, spots that you can find this chest. There's the Covert Canyon POI. There's the drill location, so this is a drill location that you can find IO chest in. Uh, there should be more drill locations. Uh, let me just <laughs> remember the, where they are. There's this one right here. Um, there's this one right here. There should be there should be one in the middle right over here. Uh, this one, I believe. And yeah, just go to those and you'll find more IO chests. Or, of course, you can go to the vaults. So you can go to the seven vaults. So there's one. Um, there's two right here. There's three. There's um, four. And then there's five right over here and then there's six and of course the one in the middle number seven you just go there you just uh like eliminate one of the io guards just grab it you stand in front of the uh, vault and it will open up and you find a bunch of these chests inside just open the appropriate amount and that should complete the quest very simple for this bargain bin week quest it says you have to spend gold bars and the easiest way to spend all of your gold bars in one go is to go either to an upgrade bench for example this one right here at sleepy sound or you can just go to a, uh, a vending machine or a mending machine, such as this one right here, and you just use all of their services. So for this one, as you can see, there's a max of what you can use. So it has a stock of four, so you can only buy as much as the stock has. But if you go to the uh, like the uh, upgrade bench thingy, you can just uh, use any like a bunch of gray weapons, like bring like five gray weapons, and you simply just keep upgrading them. And I promise you, it will just literally uh, like spend at least at the very least seven thousand or six thousand uh, gold bars instantly depending on how many weapons you want to upgrade and yeah just basically go around the map you bring a weapon you upgrade it and you can spend the your entire like gold bar collection and that should be the quest this bargain bin request is just you have to buy an exotic weapon from a character so basically just make your way right here and buy the boom sniper rifle from this character right here the scientist i believe uh so just go right here to the sanctuary to this location right over here and you just go here and just buy it it's gonna cost you 600 uh, uh gold bars and yeah that's basically it it's as simple as that 
Also remember that uh, these like NPCs, sometimes they don't spawn like regularly. So if you don't find it in a game, just uh, exit the game and just jump into uh, into another game and you should find them again. And yeah, that's it. Just come to the scientist, buy the exotic weapon, and that should complete the quest. For this bargain being weak quest, it's usually have to buy a weapon of uh, rare rarity or higher. So it has to be rare, epic, or legendary from a mending machine. So you need to go to a mending, uh, so, uh, vending machine, not a mending machine, a vending machine. <laughs> so you basically you just need to go to any vending machine on the map. This one is in Sleepy Sound. It's right over here. So there's two types of machines. There's the mending machine, which gives you heals. And then there's the vending machine, which gives you weapons. And you basically buy this one right here, the rare uh, assault rifle. So make sure you buy this one and that should complete the quest. It's as simple as that. For this bargain being be we quest, it says you have to buy an item from a character. So basically you just want to go to any NPC location. It has to be an NPC that sells an item. So for example, we have Lil Whip right here and he sells the sidearm epic pistol and you can just buy it from him. This is the location right here. Just go right here to Coney Crossroads, you'll find this NPC and just buy that item right here and that should complete the quest. For this bargain being weak quest, it says you have to buy a weapon of uh, rare rarity or higher. So it has to be rare, epic or legendary from a mending machine. So you need to go to a mending, uh, so, uh, vending machine, not a mending machine, a vending machine. <laughs> so you basically you just need to go to any vending machine on the map. This one is in Sleepy Sound, it's right over here. So there's two types of machines. There's the mending machine, which gives you heals. And then there's the vending machine, which gives you weapons. And you basically buy this one right here, the rare uh, assault rifle. So make sure you buy this one and that should complete the quest. It's as simple as that. For this bargain bin we quest, it says you have to use any of the services of a mending machine. And this is what a mending machine is. Basically, it's a mending machine that gives you like, uh, it's a machine that gives you like heals. So it literally heals you, it gives you shields or it gives you like med kits and uh, like uh, bandages. And you just basically interact with it and you buy whatever you can. So you can buy medkits, you can buy like uh, minis and everything. This one is right here at CP Sound. So just go to this location right over here at the gas station and you can find it. Uh, they are literally everywhere. You can find them mostly near gas stations. So whenever you're uh, near a PUI, for example, you're in Tilda Towers, uh, you can just go to this gas station and there should be a mending machine right here. And yeah, that's basically it. Just go there, use the services and that should be the quest. For this bargain bin week quest, it says you have to use an upgrade bench, and this is what an upgrade bench looks like. So there's a bunch of them all around the map. They are mainly in the like main PUIs. This one is at Sleepy Sound right here. So just make your way to this spot right here, and just hold out any weapon that you can upgrade. You press E, and as you can see, it costs a little bit of gold to upgrade depending on the upgrade level. And yeah, you just basically use the upgrade bench, and that should be the quest.